Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the topic that is work part transport. Means this topic is related to the systems used for for the production of the product in the firm. So basically, what is this work part transport? The work part transport is basically consists of transfer of product on the process lines. That is the power conveyors, which can be driven by the chain drive or the belt drive. and other types of mechanized material handling equipment that will be used for moving the product or that unit from one point to another or from one station to another station so this is basically the work part transport now there are different types of work part transport so the first part is the continuous transport second is the synchronous and third part is the asynchronous type so now we will see in detail each and every work part transport now what is continuous transport so basically uh, continuous transport is in this it uses a continuously moving conveyor that operates at constant speed means the velocity or the speed of that system is constant second thing it usually runs that conveyor system usually runs throughout the process line however if the line is very long then in that case the final assembly line will be divided into segments if the process line is more means it is lengthy then we have to divide it into two part and this implementation in two ways of work unit fix to the conveyor system they can be removed from that part then afterwards this continuous transport can be implemented in two part means it can be implemented in two part in such a way that either the work unit will be fixed to the conveyor or the work unit can be removed from the conveyor so if if we if we are dealing with the first case that the work unit is fixed then in that case the product will be large or heavy for example it may be an automobile casting part or uh, for example if we can say it as a washing machine or ac plant which cannot be removed from that system means conveyor system so the worker or that uh, means the in uh, whatever the person that is working on that line so therefore he has to walk along the product at that speed of conveyor so in order to accomplish all the operations or perform on that product so where in the second case where the work unit will be removed from the system that all product units will be small and they will be light weighted so that they can be removed from the conveyor system as per the convenience means as per the requirement of operation by the operator or the person who is working on that line at particular each section or stations here the worker has the flexibility to deal with the technical problem so that they whatever the problems they have encountered they may be encountered and at that particular work unit but here the each worker has to maintain the production rate at equal speed if there is some disturbance then the line produces incomplete unit where the parts were supposed to be added or just removed from the line so that you have to control that downtime so means there will be no any fall so what are the material handling equipments used for this continuous transport system they are overhead trolley conveyor system belt and roller conveyor system and drag and chain conveyor system though this continuous work transport system widely used on manual assembly lines but they are uncommon on the automated lines because they will be not providing accurate then is there will be no any accuracy for the production on this continuously moving part so this is regarding the continuous transport so as i have told here the name indicates this is the continuous line so here there will be stations station 1 up to n number of stations and here there will be means the person if you are dealing sorry if you are uh, dealing with the uh, two part if the work part will be fixed then here the worker has to move throughout the line and if it is uh, flexible means if the work unit can be removed then the worker can remove from each and every station and he can again perform the previous operation so this is the path flow for the continuous transport system now second thing is the synchronous so what is the synchronous transport system in this synchronous transport system all the work units are moved simultaneously between the stations with a quick discontinuous motion and then they are positioned at their respective stations 
So this is the basic difference between continuous and synchronous. Here there will be discontinuity, sudden discontinuity for the flow of production unit. And second thing, uh, synchronous transport system is not common. The synchronous transport system is not common for manual lines, but there is requirement that the task can be completed within certain time limit. Means as I have told you that the part can be removed from the line and then again it can be added. So this system is also called as intermediate transport system. This system is also called as intermediate transport system. And the material handling equipments used for this tra synchronous transport system are working beam transport equipment or rotary indexing mechanism. And here the disadvantage of this, in spite of disadvantage for the manual assembly line, it is often deal for automated production line in which mechanized workstations operate on constant cycle motion. Is here particularly the disadvantage of manual assembly line is that there may be human error interpretation. But even though by using some mechanized motion, we can make it smooth. So now we will see the diagram for the synchronous transport system. So here in synchronous, as we know, it is not a continuous process. Here we can remove as per the requirement. And again, we can add the work particular that product on that workstation. So this is the basic difference between synchronous and uh, sorry, there is basic difference between continuous and synchronous transport system. Okay. Now next transport system is a synchronous transport system. So what is this asynchronous transport system means here as the name indicates it is asynchronous means there will be no any synchronization means there will be no any uniformity as compared to synchronous line. So here in asynchronous transport system, the work unit leaves the given station when the assigned task has been completed and the worker leaves the unit. Means what here, if the task is performed, then the work unit has been released intermediately means not constantly. And here work unit move independently rather than the synchronization means here there will be no any correlation for the first product and second product. The first and second will be moving individually. And here it uh, particularly it tends to for any of variations in the worker task time is for example, for first product it may be time required the maximum as compared to second product. So there will be the second product will now bypass the first part and it will move to the third station. So this is happening in a synchronous transport system and uh, the material handling equipments used for this a synchronous transport, transport system are power and free overhead conveyor system, crack on track conveyor system, automated guided vehicle system and chain driven system. And advantage of this asynchronous over synchronous is that they are more flexible means it is the basic part is that it is time consuming part means it is now in the first case there was time consuming but in this case if you are bypassing the system then the time required will be less so it is system is more flexible and they also permit the queues of part to form between workstations to act, act as a storage buffers and it is easier to rearrange and expand the production line means we can by if you are bypassing the system then we can set up the another layer line for the first part. Now this is the diagram as I have shown here for the synchronous pass there were intermediate even uh, spikes but here in asynchronous as it is not uh, having the uniformity so here you can say the system has been bypassed here. Stations are there so, so such type of overcrowding will be happening in a synchronous part but now here we have to jump. So this is the basic difference between continuous then synchronous and asynchronous transport system. Thank you.